Hello, it's Pierre from Geo Designs. In this video, we're going to learn about uh, grids uh, in the Figma. Now we're going to use uh, this uh, template uh, that I recently created uh, for a seven figure business, uh, which uh, revolves around funnels. And uh, to give you a live example of grids, uh, I wanted to basically show you how easy it is uh, to work with uh, grids uh, whenever you're working on a web design project, but this can be also a app design or even social media within Figma. So the very first thing that you're going to notice is that uh, you have uh, a series of grids uh, and uh, I'm actually going to uh, create uh, a new frame uh, in order for you to learn uh, the basics uh, in an easy way. So let's go ahead and uh, let's create uh, a frame and uh, we're going to go right here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click uh, on the plus icon under layout grid. And as you can see, the very default grid uh, is uh, something around these lines. And if I click uh, on the layout grid settings icon, I'm going to be able to change uh, the size. So for example, if I set it to 50, these grids are going to be much uh, bigger in size. And uh, I can also easily change uh, the color so I can make them uh, more or less visible within uh, the Figma frame. Now, another really useful option, uh, which uh, is uh, going to be uh, what we're gonna use if we're approaching a web design, uh, or even a, a web app, uh, similarly to what we seen uh, just a moment ago, is going to be using the columns. And uh, if I select the uh, columns, uh, you can see that now we have uh, this uh, new column selection. Usually, as, I, as you have seen in the example, what I like to do is to simply set uh, a color, which, is, uh, which might be around uh, these lines, uh, and uh, you can set this uh, also in transparency in order to really make it easy for you to work uh, within uh, this uh, uh, column system because uh, you don't want uh, to have columns uh, that uh, overlay the actual design. So you still want to be able to have the freedom to design and uh, see what you're designing. But using uh, a reference point uh, for that uh, it's definitely going to make it way, way easier. So as we go back uh, to our example, we're going to explore a few different uh, concepts which are quite useful. The very first one is going to be the column count. So in uh, most uh, web design scenarios, uh, I'd like to have uh, probably between nine uh, and 12 columns. So I'm going to write here 12. As you can see, this has been uh, updated, but I would also like to have some um, gap uh, in between uh, the right uh, and the left uh, margins. So this is going to be really easy to do by simply using uh, the margin feature. So I can simply use uh, shift plus the arrow keys uh, in order to add uh, increments uh, of 10 units. Uh, and uh, I can add uh, margins directly from here. You can also adjust the gutter, which uh, essentially is uh, the distance between uh, one column and the other. So if I want uh, to have less gutter, I can simply reduce the amount uh, or the value that you can see over here. And uh, this is going to adjust it uh, automatically. You can also decide uh, the type. So if you want it left line, right line, center or stretch, uh, uh, for the very most part, either center or stretch uh, is going to be the easiest uh, and the most common solution, really. I never really touched this, uh, this option, so it's uh, just uh, up to you if you need uh, it for uh, some special uh, features. Now, on top of that, uh, you also have uh, the rows, which uh, are very similar to the columns. The only difference, as you might be able to see, is that uh, instead of having vertical columns, we're going to have horizontal rows. And uh, this might be useful, especially if you're tackling some uh, graphic design projects or some poster, which uh, might require 
some uh, specific uh, layouts and uh, a guideline around this line could be useful. So overall, as you can see, we have quite a few options when it comes to grids, uh, columns, rows in Figma. And uh, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if uh, you have any questions regarding this uh, very topic. Uh, and uh, I myself, uh, I've been a designer for over 10 years uh, and uh, I'm sharing uh, all sorts of, of uh, free resources uh, and uh, tutorials on my website, which I'm leaving in the link in the description. So feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the very next video.